I'm Kyle Lamb with Viking Tactics. I'm here with Ray Brock from Leopold. Uh, we've been working on a scope with Leopold we're pretty excited about, and uh, we wanted to go through some of the features of the scope. This scope is a 34 millimeter tube scope, one to eight power, which is uh, something we've been asking for for years, and Leopold has stepped up to the plate and gave us that capability. I want Ray to cover some of the technical aspects of this scope, if you would, Ray. Okay. It has a, a locking turret, so um, it has a pinching, uh, pinch and turn mechanism. So you, you pinch and mash these two two buttons together. You're able to make your able to make your uh, adjustment, and then when you've released that, it's it's locked in place. Uh, there are BDC dials. We can burn it for whatever ballistic you're shooting. Um, there's a fast focus uh, is on the eye shell. There's a little nubbin here at the uh, at the top, uh, letting the user know when he's back at one power. Um, illumination setting is on this other side. There's an off setting between each on setting. Um, right now it's a holographic reticle with a, uh, a 10 and a 5 MOA dot. Uh, we, have, we have an H30 or an H27 in it currently. Um, we, we can put other reticles like the mill dot and TMR in it and we're working on a couple other fast uh, ranging reticles as well. Right, and some of the other things I like as a shooter is he talked about the fast focus on the, the rear of the scope. You don't have to grab a ring and turn it. You can grab anywhere in the back of the scope. It's also knurled, so with gloves, if it's wet, whatever, you can still get a good, a good grip on the, uh, on the scope. And the adjustments are tenth of a mil adjustments. Going along with the mill dot reticle, it's great. A shooter can finally look at it, dial it what it needs to be, and uh, be squared away. The mount that you see here too is also a Leopold, proto Leopold prototype mount for this scope. It's made to cantilever the scope out a bit farther uh, so you can get the proper eye relief. And on this scope, the eye relief is about three and a half inches, which is, uh, which is perfect if you can get it in this position right here. Anything else, Ray? 34 millimeter main tube, we forgot to talk about that, but uh, uh, got plenty of adjustment. We have uh, uh, 10 mils per, uh, well, actually we have the zero stop and uh, a mechanism in the zero stop when you're re-zeroing that you can pop it up above and have three sp free spin rotations while you're re-zeroing the rifle, so. All right, well thank you very much. It's a great product. Hope you guys get a chance to check it out. Thank you.